Hey guys, Smart Ninja 0 here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make custom commands. I'm calling them custom commands um, by using the slash trigger command. Now the way these work is it's a little bit different than you would expect. But first thing you need to do before you do anything, let's make a new scoreboard. So we're going to make a new objective. This is in the snapshots 1.13. Hopefully you're there. Um, this is actually in the pre-release, which is terribly laggy, but it's pretty much the same for all versions. So we're going to make a new objective, and we are going to call this objective. For this video, we are going to be making uh, a command that will automatically set down a, a piece of stone. It's very creative, I know. We want to call it set stone, and that will be our command. And then for the type, you want the type to be trigger. Now if I try it right now, slash trigger set stone set five, you'll notice it says this. So what you want to do to fix that is give yourself a command block. You want to switch that to always active right away. First thing you want to do. Um, and you want to do scoreboard players enable at A, you want to list your tags. We don't have any. So, if you want everyone to use it, add A. If you want you to use it, add S. We'll add, add P for close this player, your name, etc. Random player. We're going to do add A. Set stone, and this will enable it. And that allows us to write slash trigger. Set stone. Set 5. If you have a slight space here, it just breaks the whole command. So, just keep that in mind. Now if I do slash trigger, set stone, set 50, it will work. Now we actually want to fix that nice little chat message, um, scoreboard, uh, or slash game rule, uh, command block output, false. Now you have a few different options. If it's a single player, your best bet is probably just to take another command and do something like this um, and make it conditional. That way every time I enable it will say, Yo shizzle. So if I do this, say yo shizzle because this updates allowing it. Now if you want per player, which we do, we don't want to just set a piece of stone in a specific location, we want to do it per player. First thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to do score or you're gonna to wanna to do execute as at A scores. And now you basically it allows the player to set their own score. So we have set stone equals one. If your stone score is equal to one, I forgot the bracket. Something like this. I want to run set block minus one stone. Now it did work. You can see it set it, but we want to do at the player's location, so we're going to change that to an as. Now wherever I walk with my score of one, it will set it to one. I can of course change this back by doing set stone set zero. And you'll see we already have a command set up. Now, in most cases, you'll do some like as your thing and then at at s. But for this, we're using at just because we don't need anything else. Now, if you want it to reset it, let's say you only want one stone block, all you have to do is do a simple scoreboard players set at a set stone to zero. And this will basically, if I do slash trigger set stone set one, so that's it. And now here's a perfect example of when you might want to do that. I've added a nice simple line objective using the same thing. Then of course aligning me with my X, Y, Z and then teleporting me based on that then setting it back. So you can see let's say I'm standing randomly in the middle of the block. If I set a line, it will align me to the center of the block. Really nice and neat. Um, and just, I mean, that's a pretty basic example of what you can do. Now let's say I want to do a little bit more with the original example, the set block. Now you'll notice I didn't do the dots. The dots mean that this continues. I did use the dots for this. I want to make it, I'm going to remove this command because we don't want it to set stone. We want to make paths with this. We want to make stone paths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another command, but instead if your score is two, I can just, I'm going to run a fill command, setting it in a radius of two, kind of. So now it's actually nine blocks being placed, but we're going to do negative one, negative one, one, 
one, and we also want negative one for this. Now, if I run square board or slash trigger set stone set, and I'm going to set it to two, you'll see wherever we run, we got a nice little stone. If I set it back to one, it will do the single path. And of course, we're not done yet. So let's say I want to add another command for granite. All I have to do is just add another number. And remember, you can even use negative numbers for this. So we're going to do slash trigger set stone set negative one. You'll notice we have a nice granite path now. God, that's actually really ugly. Also, you may want to set it to air because otherwise you can do stuff like this. If you want to go down, you have to do stuff like this. So, that's just a tip. And of course, there's a lot more you can do with this. Now these are just some very basic examples of what you can do. You can do a lot more with this. You could make it so different particles come off the player. You could make it so different. Um, they have different effects if they choose to be a different kit. Um, they can choose to change basically anything. If you want them to be able to update anything, triggers are the way to go. And of course you can do some basic stuff as too, like going to spawn, just teleporting the player that has the score, um, all that really basic stuff with slash trigger. And this is, there's, it's super easy to set up, it's super useful. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If it did, be sure to click like. If you're new, subscribe. Um, remember to uh, join the Discord server, link in the description if you need any help, you can always leave your questions or concerns in the comments, um, and of course follow me on Twitter. So, yep. Well guys, that's it. Anyways, um, yeah, hope this tutorial helped you, and I'll see you in another one. Bye!